Hi guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. They're going into seventh grade and ninth grade next year, so I'm going to have a high schooler. And I wanted to give you guys the curriculum picks for the 2022-2023 school year. And this is going to be for my ninth grader. So here's all the books that my son is going to use for ninth grade next year. And he's going to be doing a lot of work on the computer. Here are the subjects he's going to be taking. He is going to have Geometry, Literature, and Composition 1. It's going to be an honors course. I'm turning it into an honors course. He's going to be doing like extra reading, extra research, and papers for that. Uh, biology with Lab, I'm also going to turn it into an honors course. Geography and Cultures, he's going to do Physical Education. He is on a competitive gymnastics team, and he does so many hours in that, that's going to be able to qualify as an honors course. He does like 500 and... 70 hours a year on that. So he's also going to have world music, world cooking, and Spanish. The first subject I'm going to go over is language arts, which is going to be the literature and composition one. He's going to be using Easy Peasy for the main spine for that. And I purchased some workbooks. He's going to be doing a lot online, but I did get the offline workbook for the main part of the curriculum. It's got the worksheets and it gives step-by-step -step instructions. And I also purchased the vocabulary workbook. Vocabulary is a really big part of their program. It gets you ready for like the SATs and ACTs. So I thought if he doesn't want to do the online vocabulary activities, he's got the offline activities right here. And to go with this, he's gonna be reading a lot of books online that they have for free posted. I got this offline version over here, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I love to get illustrated whenever possible. And this one has beautiful illustrations in it. And then to add on to this program, part of how I'm gonna be turning into an honors is I am gonna be using the Good and the Beautiful still. I'm gonna be using their book studies. So, so far I purchased The Little Men. This worked out perfect because my younger son has to read this for his easy peasy curriculum. And I also purchased the illustrated version of this. It has some black and white and it has some colored pictures. And I have the book study for honors. I've already printed it up. This is something that he should be able to do independently, just like the language arts. There are easy step-by-step -step instructions. He should be able to do the language arts independently as well. For math next year, for my ninth grader, he's going to be having geometry. And I've chosen Math UC. So what I was looking for a program is something that wasn't too expensive, something that was offline with a workbook that he could fill out himself. And I also wanted something from a well-known company. Math UC has been around for a while. And I've heard that their geometry is... Fairly easy compared to other geometry programs, which after doing Algebra 1 this year, it's been a little bit difficult for him. I wanted to find something that was just, you know, really smooth, breezy, easy. And this is everything the package came with when I ordered it. This is the tests. It came with this DVD, which I haven't opened it yet, but it should be the lectures for each lesson. This is the student workbook. And these pages rip out really easy, so he doesn't have to work from the book. I can just rip it out each day. And there is room to work your answers out in here, which I love. And the last thing that I got was the instruction manual. And this is hard covered, and these are all soft. And then in the back of the instruction manual is the answer key. And I like this answer key because a lot of the problems are broken down of how to solve them. And you can do an honors version of this. I'm not going to be doing the honors version. My son just doesn't love math enough to go the extra step to get that credit done. 
Now the next subject is going to be biology, and I've chosen guest hollow biology. I really debated a long time which curriculum to use for him, and I finally settled on this. The price is right, and it looks like a really fun, engaging curriculum that he's actually going to retain all the information from. And it's also free. The online spine is free, and all that I would have to do is just purchase a few books to go with it. These are the worksheets that were free that I printed up that went with the curriculum. So here are some of the books I've collected so far. There's a lot more that go with it. I just haven't picked them up yet. The Biology 101 DVDs. These are scheduled. And I picked this extra reading book for him, The Hot Zone. It's pretty hefty. We may have to go with like a audiobook for it, but we'll see. And then this Cartoon Guide to Genetics. And the main spine is on the computer. Let me show you guys. This is on the Guest Hollow website. So this is the free online spine that Guest Hollow provides for you. Let me scroll down a little bit. This is each lesson. There are vocabulary words and workbook assignments to go with it. And then the reading. And this reading did come from an actual textbook. It's just been modified slightly. And there are videos embedded throughout the whole thing. There's one video. For his social studies this year, my son has chosen geography. I gave him a few choices like American history and world history, and he picked geography. I've also gone with Guest Hollow. It looks really fun, and he was excited to use it. So this is the worksheets that came with it, and I had to pay for this. This one is not for free online for anybody. Here are some of the books that went along with the Guest Hollow geography program. And there's a lot more books. I just haven't collected all of them yet. I've got God's Smuggler, Journey to the River Sea, The Manga Cookbook. This one's also going to be going along with his cooking elective that he's doing. The Hindu Deities. This is used in my younger son's geography also. And Cool Japan Guide. And just like the biology he's doing through Guest Hollow, they have the main spine on the computer. Here's an example of one of the lessons they have for their geography online. It's all laid out so it's going to be easy for him to follow on his own and do more independently. Here's one of the videos. Then he's got some reading. And then we've got pictures, maps, another video. There's a little bit of reading mixed in there. Another video, some more reading. So as far as the electives go, he is going to be doing a world cooking elective to go along with his geography. And a lot of the recipes he's going to be getting from their geography cur curriculum from Guest Hollow. And they do have like cooking videos throughout too. So there's going to be a lot of different fun activities for that elective. Now, for his music elective, I'm going to be pulling a lot of the music activities from the Guest Hollow Geography curriculum. They have these really cool online schedules, and at the end of the schedules, there's always, like, some music activities listed for that particular country. And I may end up... There's all of these music activities for this week. I may end up bulking it up a little bit and getting the music program from the Master Books Academy just to turn it into a full credit. So my son is also going to be taking Spanish next year. This would be his third year of Spanish. He started in seventh grade. Um, we've been using a program called Foreign Language for Kids, and it looks like he's going to be finishing the program completely by the end of this year. So I think I'm going to go with this Destinos program. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I don't really speak any Spanish at all. Um, they are videos that you watch. They're like little mini soap operas. And you can watch them for free online. You've got all of these. And then after you watch them, let's see if I can click on one. 
uh, there's actually online questions to go with it. And I remember learning German in a program almost exactly like this, and I really loved watching the soap operas. And this is supposed to be good enough for a high school credit for Spanish. And they are from the 90s, so they're kind of out of date. Young Miguel remembers something he needs for school. And I purchased the workbook to go with it. This workbook is kind of old and yellowed, but I wanted an actual workbook that he could work from and not just online questions. And there is no answer key for this, but my husband speaks fluent Spanish, so he's going to really have to help out with this a little bit. So that's pretty much it, what we have planned for ninth grade. I had ordered a four-year high school planner and a special planner just for my son to get a little bit more organized next year on his own. I ordered it like three weeks ago, and I don't even think it shipped out yet. So when that comes, maybe I'll do another video for a closer look on it. I hope this video was helpful. Bye, guys.